Hey, uh, in this video we will go ahead and take our geometry and mesh it. So I'm just gonna open Salon uh, to do that. And the reason why we take our geometry and mesh it is because we will be using a finite element modeling package, Almer Fem, which is able to do multi physics, by the way. And uh, finite element modeling works with meshed um, geometry. So we have to create the mesh first. And Salome is a very good package to do so. So let's go first into the geometry module. import as, in, as you can see the preferred format for Salome is prep which is why we exported our metal bar as a as a prep before so we just navigate where our metal bar is and we just import it yep that's it so we can see our metal bar as we created it with one face on the XY plane and the height along the Z axis. So the first thing we will be doing is to explode the geometry. So we select our metal bar and then we click on explode and it will open up this um, dialog. And we can explode the entity into solid sub entities in this case there will be there is going to just be one solid sub entity so apply and close and we have our solid entity created from our parent original entity so we will explode these solid entities some more and we will be exploding it into faces so Let's go ahead and do it. So we have one solid and six faces, and you can see there are all the faces around our solid. So we are doing this because we want to model the elasticity of this metal bar so that we can model its vibration. And to do so, we will use a finite element uh, modeling which will try to apply a governing partial differential equation to the 3D domain that constitutes our bar, so the solid. But these kind of equations can be solved only if boundary conditions are applied and these are indeed the boundaries. So we made clear what the domain where we will apply the equation is and we made clear what the boundaries where we will apply the boundary conditions are. So now that we did all of this we can just go ahead and mesh this uh, geometry. Alright so this is the meshing uh, module in Salon and we just gonna make sure we selected our solid. Oh, we could rename all of this by the way but it is not necessary. So let's create a mesh. Okay so let's go to the algorithm and select netgen 1d 2d 3d and let's um, define the 3D parameters. So this is actually um, one of the most important um, steps into solving a problem with the finite element method. Um, the way we set up the meshing will dictate the accuracy and the convergence of the numerical method. Um, we will discuss more of these as we go ahead, as we go along 
uh, with the series in the articles and in the next videos but for the time being let's just keep things simple and I'm just gonna set up a minimum size of uh, one millimeter a max size of five millimeter I'm gonna make the mesh curves they are still gonna set it to second order and they should give a should give us some reasonable accuracy for the problem that we will be setting up with Elmer Fan. So I'm gonna click OK and apply and close. So this created a mesh, but we still need to compute it. Um, before we compute it, I would like to create groups from geometry and we are gonna select all of these entities, so all of our faces and our solid apply and close. So now you can see that we define groups. So when we click with the right button and select compute, it will create the mesh for us actually. Let's go ahead and do it. All right. Um, this created the mesh for us. There's a nice um, mesh information summary here. And what these groups are doing is that they are going to take all the um, mesh nodes or the points are the vertices of this tetrahedra. And since we use second order, there are also points inside and group them so all the ones that are inside the bar will be into the solid group and all the ones that end up being on the faces will be in the respective face so i think we can save this project and i'm gonna save it in our um, project directory i'm gonna call it study um, like this so that um, if we need to maybe edit the mesh and change the parameters we can open up our project later and do so but in order for Elmer um, to use uh, this mesh we need to export it so it is a similar thing to what we did with FreeCAD when we export to a format that the next uh, program we are going to use is able to work with. So this format will be UNV and I'm just going to export the UNV as mesh. And that's it. And that concludes the video.